Hello people of Earth, this is Dan Lockhart of the Ride of Valkyrie Dan Lockhart YouTube channel. And we are just about ready to go into the Coach Tope Canyon here. Hopefully you will get some good footage. It's a really beautiful canyon, as you can see on the right side here. It was bright and sunny when I came through earlier today. But that was around noon. I'm gonna have some shadows now, but that's all right. I had the 360 camera mounted on the engine guard. I'm hoping to get some interesting video. I've got my GoPro 10 on my chin mount. And I've got the purple panda microphone hooked up to it. You know, my GoPro 10 is doing 5K cinematic footage. I thought I'd try that this time. No one's been a real booger today. But I would expect nothing less the way this season's going. Yes, I love this ride. I can just ride up and down this canyon all day long. It's so pretty in here. Well, I hope you all are getting out and doing some riding yourself. Definitely riding season in the cold climates. I think it's supposed to be 75 degrees Fahrenheit today in Crystal Butte. But uh, that was a couple hundred miles away from home, I think. I had to take a look at that mileage when I get back. I don't pretty this is. I better stay focused. I don't want my legacy to be Dan was so enchanted by the to Coach Topic Canyon that he drove off the road. Which could be true. I mean, look at that. Beautiful. What I was thinking with the 360 camera was putting it outboard towards the canyon interior so you get to see some of the canyon walls. Yeah, I just saw a marmot. <laughs> hey, just sitting on top of a rock looking at me, watching me go by. I think it was a marmot anyway, I guess. I didn't get to see his tail, so. Um, marmots and beavers, their heads kind of look the same. I guess it could have been a small beaver. But what's he doing on that side of the road? The water's over that way. So today, I rode with uh, some new summertime riding pants, a mesh. I was just getting pretty uncomfortable in my other riding pants. They're made for a colder weather. And when it's warmer, man, you really sweat to death and those things. These are really nice. 
I would have to say today from today on until it gets start getting cool in the fall again these pants are gonna be the ones that I'm gonna wear I do like to ride in the canyons. We have so many great places to ride. Well, on paved road and dirt roads and dirt trails, Colorado is pretty famous for all that. Yes, so where did I go today? Well, that's a good question. Today, I went to Colorado Alligators. <laughs> alligators in Colorado? Uh, doesn't seem possible. But yes, it is. Hopefully I got some good footage. I noticed when I got back to my bike that there was some crap that was on the lens of the camper that I was using. I hope it didn't wreck too much of my footage. I checked that lens before I started recording and it was perfectly clean. I don't know when that happened. Maybe when the alligators splashed me. Look at that. Beautiful blue sky. It's too bad the wind is crazy. So, like I said, I have the 360 camera mounted on a Ulanzi ball mount. So I can pivot the camera whatever direction I, I need to get the right angle. But the 360 gives you a lot more flexibility that way. Look at that field. That is beautiful. Wild Rose Ranch. Yeah. I wouldn't mind living a little further out the beaten path, even though we're in rural Colorado. Pizza. You get out here, you're, you're kind of on your own out here. I mean, I, I see power lines, so I know that they got power lines running up to their properties out here. But it's, it's pretty remote. polarized sunglasses made that rock back there it looked like it was shale rock it made it look like it was had a kind of a teal color interesting so yeah I had fun at the Colorado alligators farm very nice gentleman there by the name of Noah Lots of kids and their parents were out there. And I gotta take a picture of Elvis. Elvis is one of their star attractions. There, Elvis is, what they say, 12 and a half foot long. This, uh, Colorado Alligator Rescue was originally started in 1987. I talked to Noah and Noah said that the, the farm itself was purchased in 1977 
had they started raising tilapia and 19, I think he said uh, 1987 and that's when they got the first alligators and Elvis was one of the first alligators so uh, you do the math on that 13 and 22 I think that goes up to about 35 years Elvis has been on the Colorado alligator farm but they also had a sign there that said Elvis does not play well with others in fact he killed and ate his last girlfriend so I believe it <laughs> it was a big old bugger but there's another one next to his little pond there. There was another one that was as big, if not bigger, than Elvis. They didn't have any signs about him. So the picture that I took of Elvis was for Elvis Boy. And the Elvis Boy Into the Sunset YouTube channel. This alligator be his namesake. Elvis the Alligator. But they also had some, I guess there were emu there as well. I don't think there were ostriches. I don't think they were tall enough to be ostriches, but I'm not sure I could tell the difference from a emu and an ostrich. But one of them came up and he... Oh, that's probably where I got the uh, stuff on the lens. Was when that one... Emu or ostrich or whatever it was... Pecked up my camera. That's probably it. Yeah, he didn't like it. Because <laughs> it kind of looked like him. <laughs> I had it on, a, on like a three foot extension. And I was holding it up. That's where I got the junk on the lens. Haha. <laughs> Makes sense now. I know I checked that lens before I started recording. Now. 